practice. Okay. So I'd like to welcome you today to a discussion I'm going to have with one of my previous pregnancy yoga uh, members. I'm Janet Broughton and I teach pregnancy yoga and we start from 14 weeks right up until birth so there's no gaps in between and I just wanted you to hear it from somebody who's experienced the classes and how they felt. So I'd like to welcome Gemma from Preston, Lancashire um, and I'd like to ask you Gemma why in the first place you decided to actually come to pregnancy yoga classes. Yeah so I already did um, Drew yoga um, and, you know, one of the reasons that I wanted to do the pregnancy yoga was I wanted to be able to continue my yoga practice. Um, and, and if I could with, withdrew in the same, same kind of way that I, I was used to doing it because of the benefits that I, I got from that as a, as a non-pregnant woman. Um, but also, um, with the element of kind of the pregnancy side of things and the preparation for for birth and and kind of keeping all of that going so that's why i kind of first started but i what i would say is that you you don't need to have a drew background or even a yoga background to kind of begin and you know, feel the benefits and, and get the benefits from doing a pregnancy yoga, um, particularly the, the Drew pregnancy yoga. Yeah, that's very true. I've had lots of ladies who've come to me and either having done yoga before or if they've done yoga, they've not done Drew because those classes are very specifically to the needs of pregnant women. Um, so it doesn't matter if you've no experience at all. So, yeah, thank you for making that point. So once you joined the classes, what did you actually enjoy about the classes themselves? Um, I think probably the most selfish reason um, is that it was still time for me in the week. And that kind of, um, it's not forced, but, you know, it makes you do it. It's very easy to kind of say, um, oh, you know, I won't go this week or um, I don't feel like it. Um, and, and I always, you know, I, I have times like that, I have times like that every week when I do my, you know, my usual Drew class. Um, but I know from experience that when I go, I feel so much better. I benefit from it. So it was really nice to have that dedicated time for me because, you know, being pregnant, you know, you, you, you do experience kind of being tired more and kind of, you know, things having more of an impact on you because obviously there is an awful lot going on in your, your body at that time. You are growing another human being and that takes an awful lot of everything, nutrients, effort, <laughs> everything. <laughs> um, so it was really nice to, to still have that time. But I suppose, you know, then the, the benefits that I got from the classes are, you know, just maintaining what Drew already gives me, kind of that the calmness and the movement and the suppleness and kind of still keeping going, but also really feeling like you are preparing for this massive event in your life, but in a very kind of calm and holistic view of it. Um, I loved my classes. I loved kind of going every week and and kind of seeing what 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 else I would come away with from that week and how I could then, you know, utilize that in the week in between my classes and carry on doing little bits for myself. And you don't need to kind of think, right, well, you know what, there's an hour set aside every day. It's just tight, you know, it could be something that takes you 30 seconds to do while you're you know, I used to, well, at the time I was getting the train to work, but, you know, could be sat on the train and just something would make me think, oh, you know, I could practice that breathing or, you know, I could just have a kind of little, you know, while the kettle's boiling, kind of three minutes meditation to myself. And, you know, all those things you're continuously thinking about and, and, and putting them into practice, you know, leading up to this kind of, you know, this massive event in your life. Yeah, and, and that's it. That's the thing is, it's not just about the hour, as you say, it's about using that. And that's what I encourage people to do, to say, right, I, this is happening to me. I mean, and as you know, I, things like if you get a lot of heartburn or indigestion, do the butterfly pose. Mm. You know, it, it's giving you a toolbox of things to, to yes. pull on. 
um, which is lovely. And at the same time, you were meeting other mums who, like yourself, could be a first time mum, or even if it was second, third, or fourth, it, they all had different experiences to bring to it. Yeah. So, definitely. I, and I, you know, I'm, I learn as much as you do sometimes because I'm thinking, right, that's useful. That's what helps people. And I try to draw that in together. So, having enjoyed the classes, and it, as you say, it benefited your pregnancy partly because you've got things to help you. Any other benefits through your pregnancy? I think just um, kind of keeping that kind of the, the, the fitness aspect of it, um, you know, the, the kind of that keeping going and keeping mm. moving. You know, what I would say is that I didn't know at the time when I was pregnant, I, I learned it through birth, that, but my baby was was back to back. Mm. Um, and I think probably one of the reasons why I didn't really feel that was because of how much I, you know, I was keeping yeah. moving and, and those kind of techniques of, you know, how to sit and how to lie and, you know, all of those things that probably minimize that impact on, on my body. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I didn't really feel any of that through pregnancy. I didn't, you know, it was really, really later stages when I kind of got to the point where, you know, I, I couldn't bend over to fasten my shoelaces. I did kind of have to sit on a bed or a chair and then kind of do it. But, yeah. you know, all of those little things, you know, I I personally think that is, is because of the, you know, the practice that, that I did throughout my pregnancy. Um, and and kind of keeping that going and and you know you you don't necessarily feel like you're benefiting it as in you know a real conscious kind of bodily feeling but yeah. clearly it is it, it, it is there and it, it you know continuing doing it throughout that pregnancy really does kind of benefit yeah fantastic i know you know different mums have said to me because nobody has the perfect pregnancy and the perfect birth and you all come with different issues I uh, know we've, you know, we're through the different exercises or the breathing or anything. We've helped people so that it is a much smoother journey through that pregnancy. Mm. So yeah. I know there were some difficulties with your birth. So if you'd like to explain and how yoga helped you. <laughs> yeah. So um, I suppose as a first time mum, <laughs> um, you know, you are, you're very aware of kind of horror stories and things that can happen, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, my, my own mum actually, um, kind of went to what what now is a birthing you know is classed as a midwifery led birthing center mm. uh, which is kind of probably about five miles from us um and even then kind of when i was i was being born it was if any if there was any complications you were kind of put in an ambulance and taken to preston hospital mm. um and my mum was very kind of i think you should just go to preston you know they, if anything happens and i was like don't be ridiculous mum lightning doesn't strike twice we'll be fine <laughs> um and so you know you have this very clear um you know very defined kind of your birthing plan of what you think is going to happen what will happen because you are in control and and all of that and um I think you quite quickly, regardless of how smooth your birth is, you quite quickly realise that you might as well have not bothered. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I think that's one of the things that Drew really gave me and the pregnancy yoga is when when that didn't happen and mine was quite an extreme mm. scenario of it not going to plan. Um, you, it, it gives you the, the toolkit to be able to deal with that and to be able to, you know, just, just go with it rather than kind of, thinking you know being mm. in the moment more rather than yes, thinking well this isn't what I wanted this isn't what was supposed to happen um and I did end up being put in an ambulance um and taken to Preston but you know it it wasn't it wasn't what I wanted and mm. and the whole kind of events surrounding that were, were you know were, were pretty awful but at that moment in time and being in that place I what I wasn't panicked Mm. I wasn't worrying about the fact that I it hadn't gone to plan. It wasn't what I wanted. This isn't how it was supposed to be. It was very much kind of more of a, well, this is what's happening. Mm -hmm. And what, how can we, you know, keep it aligned more to what, what was supposed to happen than getting really stressed and caught up in, in it not being like that. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I I did manage to 
to keep calm and, and be really, really calm and focused on me and my baby, not the people around me, what the conversations that were being had, you know, the, the events that were surrounding me. I was very much in that place. I suppose, in a way, I suppose I was very internalized. Mm -hmm. I feel like I was very much, I'd got in really inside myself. Yeah. And I think, you know, I genuinely believe I was in control of that situation. Mm -hmm. You know, it would have been very easy to have been swept up in kind mm -hmm. of the feelings of people around me and what was happening and become very emotional about it and very worried and very stressed. And I, and I never felt like that. And I'm not saying I didn't, I wasn't aware that there was a danger. Yeah. I was, but I may, you know, I really feel like I maintained some control over how I was reacting to that. Mm -hmm. And that is because of the Drew and the techniques, like you said before, the toolkit that I'd been mm -hmm. given through those weekly um, classes and, and the, you know, the, the, the thought processes I had in between and how I utilized them, that is how I maintained that. And, you know, I, th I you know, I said before, you know, my baby was back to back and, and that's essentially, you. It, it's as difficult as giving birth to a breech baby, yeah. um, which, you know, when, when they know that and you, they can, you know, kind of see that you're breech beforehand, you know, the chances are you will be, you know, recommended a C-section because it is, it's really difficult and it's dangerous. And so I, you know, I really believe that I, I did that and I managed to get through that because of, of Drew. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's, it helped me massively. Um, I think, you know, despite kind of it not, it being quite extreme in terms of the, the, what happened and having to be taken to Preston and things like that. And then what happened at Preston, um, I had a far better birth than I would have if yeah. I hadn't done Drew Yoga to help me deal with all of that. Yeah. And I think you said as well that the, the nursing staff commented on how well you were able to go through it all. Yeah. So well, when we were still at Chorley, which, you know, by, by definition, a, a birthing centre is a much calmer place than... Mm. Um, than kind of a, 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 a mid well a, a hospital led um delivery suite um and it is much more kind of informal you know they are community midwives in there and, and and stuff like that but you know whilst we were at Chorley you know they they all kept commenting and saying I can't believe how calm you are and and that was at a stage where the you know there wasn't anything if it had carried on like that it would have been a beautiful textbook um, yeah. birthing centre um, you know water birth mm. you know surrounded by community midwives um, but you know eat, you know I'm you know they they will see it all won't they and they will see yes, all they you know all kinds of different births and all kinds of different people um, but they said I can't you you're making us calm you know you, the lovely. way you are being you are you're calming us you're making us calm mm. um, and I think as, as much as it wasn't what I wanted to happen, um, I think one of the biggest compliments of my life is the ambulance driver, well, ambulance person, paramedic, who was in the back with me, who, um, when we arrived at Preston, he was like, you're unbelievable. He said, you are the best I've ever had. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> so, like, you oh, can take fucking... nothing else away from that is the compliment <laughs> of the ambulance guy. <laughs> and that's it and it's because they're dealing like the midwives are dealing with it all day and every day yeah. they can give you that and say you are different or you're the best or, or you know they recognize because I then started to get one of the midwives noticed that she was getting more and more people through like yourself and she wanted to know what is it that you women are doing and of course they just said well we're doing pregnancy yoga with Janet and the next thing I got a phone call and can I have your leaflets? I want to tell everybody yeah. about you. So it, it you know, that, that's a midwife saying, this is working, let's utilize yeah. it. Yeah. So, you know, it's always my greatest pleasure that people actually benefit. And I've had so many lovely positive stories like that. And, Definitely. You know, it's and, something that we'll take and, Yeah, and I think that's, that's another element of Drew is whether it's pregnancy yo yoga or normal yoga, it's that, it, it's that, 
kind of bespoke tailoring for the individual it isn't you know this is the pose that's what it must look like go away and do it and then hold it until like you're in huge amounts of pain and you can't <laughs> breathe anymore you know it's it's do what you can you know do it in a way that and, it, and it's not about doing it unsafely or not doing it in the right way it's you know it's that staged process of what's right for your body at that time you know that's what you do and I think that's the thing with kind of the pregnancy yoga is is that bespoke element that individual element that you know it recognizes that every woman is different every mm. woman has got there in a very different way every pregnancy is different and every birth is going to be different mm. and of all the things and all the experiences i had and came across when i was pregnant that was the one you know drew pregnancy yoga is the one that said to me it doesn't matter about everybody else yeah this nice. is about you yeah. And how you will do it and what will happen to you is yours. And that's the right way it should be. Yeah. It wasn't a leaflet I was given or a book <laughs> that I was given that said, this is how it happens. And if it doesn't happen like that, then you're wrong. You've yeah. failed. And I think that's the thing. I mean, I don't have any kind of experience of hypnobirthing. You know, I kind mm -hmm. of have an awareness of what it's about and things like that. But that to me feels much more prescriptive. That right. this is this is the way this is how we do it this is how you have to do it mm. um and that's the real difference with drew yoga and i think you know as as what you said from kind of the midwife and the comments that midwives made to you then it very it's very clear and it's mm. evident that that's what comes across that it's you know you you work it in a way that works for you and the benefits of that is you know a midwife saying what are you all doing you know what have you done and the common denominator there is, I did, yeah. you know, drew pregnancy yoga. Yeah, and, that's it it. and it's it's also giving you, you used the word earlier about you had more control because, yeah. I, I, you know, speaking to mums I've had who perhaps come in for a second or third time who'd experienced, you know, pregnancy without the drew pregnancy yoga would say, you know, first time round, I felt like everything was taken away from me and I was just being done to, whereas, the, with the, doing the pregnancy yoga they were able to say I'm in control now this is yes. the way I'm giving birth and um, and that to me was the most power I mean you know I was in a position of teaching pregnancy yoga which I do um without ha having been pregnant myself <laughs> mm -hmm. so um and it I will be honest I avoided teaching it at first thinking oh no bit frightened of babies, don't know what to do with them. Um, and then realizing the babies were actually there in the room, so I was okay. <laughs> and of course, discovered how much I love teaching pregnancy yoga. Yeah. Because I had somebody say to me many years ago, but you have so much mothering in you. And at that point I was like, but I'm, I'm not a mother, I'm, I'm not. And I realized of course, because I've been a teacher all my life, I've always said they're my babies. Mm -hmm. So, the pregnant mums are my babies yeah <laughs> and you know you always got that mothering right at the end for your relaxation and i'd wrap you in your blanket and but you make sure your cushions <laughs> yeah. were right and pack you all in and and that for me was my bit to say well i'm mothering you because i know i used to joke and say make the most of it because <laughs> after, after the yeah, pregnancy, definitely. <laughs> you know so and it's the bit you said time for you because mm. you need that time out and and it doesn't matter how many you know i've had people come for their fourth baby um and it's that prioritizing yourself for that hour a week and what we're now able to offer you know the, the advantages of being online you haven't even got the traveling time you're not going out in the cold and the dark and the rain or any of those things it's purely in the comfort of your own home yeah which make makes it a much more special experience yes yeah. so that's what we're now hoping to move on i'll ask a question but you don't have to can we see the baby now <laughs> um Yes, just one second. <laughs> Lovely, can you come here for a minute? Are you trying to let the egg go in? Try and rest it on your tummy. Try and balance it on your tummy. This is the baby now. This is the baby now, all six year old of you. My friend, aren't you, Safi? <laughs> yeah. You love you love your Drew Yoga, don't you? Yeah, so that that's what happens i think you, <laughs> you it's just kind of instilled it's there and you love your yoga and doing your yoga don't you every thursday now 
with me and Nanny. You join me, don't you, on a Thursday? Yeah, you've been very quiet today. It's not normally that quiet. <laughs> not. What were you doing? You were doing a, PE, a Zoom PE class, weren't you, with Miss Sinnott? Ah, right. And, that, and you do your Drew yoga. You like to do, you can do downward dog, can't you? Yeah, and the butterfly. Yeah. You're super good at the butterfly, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You need so, to keep doing it, practicing, and yeah. then your knees will always be on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, you're starting a lot earlier than I did, so you've got lots of chance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So thank you very much, both Saffron and Gemma, and a really bit lovely to talk Pleasure. to and to see you. Everything worked out well, and you enjoyed your yoga now, don't you, Saffron? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so thank you very much. Oh, thank you.